In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple technique of dodging and burning using Photoshop 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia and in this channel I talk about photography, especially high-end retouching techniques. Now that you know me, let's go to the video. In all the photos that I do, the professional and complete retouching, I always use the dodge and burn technique to make not only my client's face even more beautiful, but her body sometimes, and also clothes. So the technique that I'm gonna teach you right now, I use in many things in a photo. What I love about this technique is that first, it's very easy and simple to use, and also, I can give more contour to my client's face, adjusting a little bit the lighting on her face. So I can hide what I don't want to show as much, and what I do want to show more, I can make it to pop up. This will enhance more of your client's natural features, and she will love you for that. So the way that we do this technique, I have my photo here. I've done a little bit of skin retouch very quickly here because I really just want to show you the dodge and burn. So I do this technique after I've completed the screen retouch. And the way that we're going to use the dodge and burn technique is by creating two layers of curves. So the first layer here, we are going to go to curves and we are going to light it up the photo a little bit. We are going to name it dodge. And another thing that I like to do here, I like to change the blending mode of the layer to luminosity because I just actually want to work with the luminosity of the photo. So now I'm going to create another curve layer and I'm going to make it the opposite and make it darker. And I'm also going to change the blending mode to luminosity. And I'm going to rename the layer to burn. I'm going to put both layers in a folder. So I just need to select the layers and press Command or Control G. And let me rename the folder Dodge and Burn. So right now, our mask is white. So it means that the effect is being applied, applied to the photo. So I'm going to invert the mask. I'm just pressing on the mask and pressing Command I on the keyboard and now everything is hidden. So we don't see anything happening. To apply the Dodge and Burn now, we are gonna go to the brush tool and I'm gonna start with a really, really low opacity because I wanna have control of how much of um, lighting and darkening I wanted to add in the photo. So I'm gonna do like 3%. And I'm gonna have the hardness to 0% because I want the effect to be very soft on the edge. So what I like to do is to work on her contours. So when we are thinking about makeup, let me create another layer. And let me just select a color here. So when we are talking about makeup, we really like to make the face, the, the, the client's features to pop up more. And normally what most makeup artists will do is to create contours on her face. So for the contour, I'm gonna be using the color blue where we would be darkening the photo. So we would be using every part of let me go up with the opacity. Every part that we have this, the bone structure or lines is where we would be darkening the area. I like sometimes to do around here as well, just to make her um, chin and jawline to be more um, defined. Sometimes around here on the head as well. And the parts that we want to light it up, let me select another color, it would be more in here, 
it will be this part here under the eye because we don't want to have that raccoon eye sometimes here as well sometimes here and in the middle of the forehead sometimes here under the lip right on the top of the chin and this is pretty much the basic of what you would do with contour in the makeup so that's what we want to simulate when we are doing the dodge and burn as well we want to kind of just to to make the difference between the light and the dark areas on her face to be a little bit more intense so we can see more contour and on her face and this will create more volume on her face and it's just gonna give you a better quality on the photo so let's go and have our black and white here on the brush let's go down the opacity to three and i'm gonna start with the dodge so i'm gonna start in the light areas as you can see if i add a layer here that's black and white um, black and white we can see better the light where we have light and where we have shadows and we kind of wanted to keep this light and shadows where it is and that's where we are going to be applying more of the dodge and burn and this is going to go with the contour of her face and if you wanted to see even better you can also create another curve layer and just to cause more contrast or you can just go lower a little bit i think that this is even even better to see where the shadows are so here's a little bit darker on her nose there's a lighter line here that's where i would definitely be using my dodge just to make it even to increase even more this um, light that it's on her nose under her eyes, if you notice here, is a little bit darker than right at this area here. So I wanted to make a little bit even to remove this raccoon eye. So this is a place that I would like to be adding the dodge. So if you are having some difficulties to see where you would be applying the dodge and burn, you can also create this guide folder here, just making black and white and adding some curve so you can see better where you can be adding the dodge and burn technique so i'm not gonna be using the guide i'm just gonna go with how it is right here i'm gonna go to the dodge and let's just start and at the end we are gonna see how it's looking make sure that you have the white color to show the effect on your mask okay so i'm gonna intensify this line here I'm gonna intensify a little bit on her nose and we can see already something happening okay so I'm gonna do a little bit here under her eye and the other one as well And I'm gonna do over this area here where we will be adding all the makeup. I'm gonna do a little bit on her forehead, right at the center, to create a little bit more volume for her head. I'm gonna do a little bit here. And this part here as well. I like to go a little bit on her eyes as well. I'm gonna increase the opacity to five. Okay. Just make her eye pop a little bit more. I'm gonna go here under her lip I'm gonna go right in the middle of her lip here perfect okay 
Now I'm gonna go to the burn and I'm gonna go on the edge of her nose and a little bit to the other side. Sometimes I like to go on the makeup just a little bit and on the eyebrow. I like to use other techniques to actually do this eye part here and the eyebrow, but with the dodge and burn with the curves, you can definitely work on that as well. I'm gonna go here. Let me get away. A little bit more here. around her lips. On her forehead, I think that's a little bit too bright, so I'm actually gonna dark it out a little bit. Okay. And I, I like to go around her face as well. So here's the before, here's the after, before and after. If you think that um, the effect is not as strong, you can also go and go up a little bit more with the opacity. I'm gonna make it a little bit stronger so you can see better what the dodge and burn can do. You can go here around her eyelashes as well with the burn around her eye. With the dodge, I can go to the close to her eye here and just create a little bit of a light to pop it up a little bit more. So here's the before, here's the after. You can see that you start changing a little bit. It seems like you're changing a little bit of her face, but actually you're just hiding things that you wanna hide a little bit more and you're just enhancing things that you want to show a little bit more. And if you think that is a little bit strong for me, this is a little bit strong, so I would definitely go down with my opacity. And here's the before and here's the after. And if we use the guide, we can see all the lightings that we have been changing on her face. Again, we didn't change anything on her structure like using Liquify, but we definitely worked a lot with the light and we are hiding something and changing a little bit of her face with how we position the light on her face. Okay, so here is before and here's the after. 
before and after. So if you like the result, please click the button, the like button, so I know they liked. Now you know how to easily enhance your client's natural features, making her even more beautiful. Knowing this technique will give your photos a better quality of work, and this is really important if you want to get paid more. If you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest video here on the screen. And subscribe to my channel as well because every week I have new videos. Until next time.